patient is a 10-year-old male with spastic diplegia who ambulates with jump gait. During initial contact of gait, he has a lack of heel strike due to plantar flexor spasticity, resulting in toe walking. He presents with knee flexion during loading response due to hamstring spasticity. There is also increased hip flexion because of a hip flexor contracture. Due to the patient walking on their toes, they do not attain proper tibial translation. Abnormal power generation from the hamstring, quads, and gastrocs propel their body upward in space rather than forward, which is seen during mid-stance. The hip is excessively flexed at mid-stance, and the knee remains flexed. Knee flexion is due to hamstring spasticity. There is increased lordosis and an anterior pelvic tilt due to hip flexor contraction and co-contraction of the hamstrings and quads. The hips are in an adducted and internally rotated position because of abductor weakness. Decreased hip extension due to hip flexor contraction is seen in terminal stance. The foot is still in plantar flexor position, which causes decreased push-off. The patient exhibits shorter step length, decreased time in swing phase due to hip flexor contracture and lack of push-off. The patient has decreased hip extension at initial swing, which also results in decreased step length. Excessive activation of the hamstrings prevents the knee from fully extending during terminal swing, leading to increased knee flexion at initial contact. The patient has diff difficulty disassociating movements during gait, and there are limited postural reactions. So we're going to do some hamstring stretching. So what you want to do is put your leg, put your leg right over here. And I want you to focus on not trying to hit the telephone. So keep your, keep your legs straight. Good. Okay. So hold it there. And now all we're doing is we're going to play catch too. Okay. 